All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so we are in a secret chamber that's only accessible by a rogue stone, and I found this completely randomly um, a few episodes back, and uh, it summoned a lich into this room, and a whole bunch of things just kind of went down. So, um, I think what I'm going to try to do, maybe, maybe, is figure something out with regards to maybe luring these guys back into this tiny room um let's see how this works I, I've, I've got an idea uh, we tried it this is a crazy battle there's like a lich there's a beholder there's a, a like a vampire lord um it's a it's a mad battle in here so let's just jump in and see if we can figure out the anatomy of this fight i, I think i'm going to try and lure him straight down into this room and just see what happens see if i can lure them all back here actually so let's let's it. see what happens here hmm. let me let me let me take this guy right this oil of speed let me drink this okay let me run into here very well This is your end. Okay. Let's come back here real quick. Right? Like, charge back here. Okay. He's going to teleport right to here. It's going to take some damage. Uh, at this point, I'm going to... Sunray... Okay, Shangala took massive amounts of damage. Um, I'm going to transform into Mustard Jelly. Okay, so I now have... Um... Nature's servant awaits. Let's get that going. Mazzy can start attacking as well. Uh, I want to cast a... With vengeance! Uh, I'll also cast Oracle. Okay. Time stop. This might be better because I think this battle might only be like a couple of guys here. Right? Oh! Dude. So this would have worked a lot better. Okay, so this would have worked a lot better if what I did was put, drop the cloud kill out here first. See, because then Vaxel would be taking heat. As well as the other guys would be taking damage right now. Oh! Okay, I mean, still, let's see how this goes, right? right here this beholder is literally just popping the stuff off me this isn't working this isn't working 
This isn't working. Okay. Maybe you can start fighting this guy. Mezzi, Jahira. Um, it is done. Okay, let me let me try walk Jahira out. <laughs> oh my God! The shield of Baldurin. Yo, that is insanity. Oh my god, Shiresa. Um Okay. Um Okay, so I think the entire team hmm. needs to get in on this fight. Uh as much as we possibly can. Right. To no effect. Oh crap, we did it. We did it. We actually did it. Um Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. But there's still a problem. There's still a, a big big problem. I am willing. There is a mage. You want. It's up this way. And there she is. Oh. Oh. Well, that was perfect timing. Now I just died for sure. Wow. Seriously? If you say so. Seriously insane. Um So how about How okay. Um Speeding? She's near death. Whoa, whoa, what? How no effect? Protection from magical weapons? Ooh.
Dude, will Mel's minute medias hit? Oh my god, this is so... We've actually figured this out. But I'm on the run right now, and I don't know if this is gonna just die off. Before she does. Damn it. She is so close to dying, dude. Um... Got him. Ring o the ram for the win. Holy crap. Now these guys will just fizzle out. Oh, th dude, this is so cool. I can't believe we kind of more or less figured this battle out. Just at certain steps, certain times. And we did it. I don't want to risk anyone's death. There we go. Holy crap. How is this pit fiend still... How is this pit fiend still alive? Dude, this thing is insane. This is so risky. Oh, should I be doing this? I don't think I should have done this. Jump on my sword while you can, Evil. I won't Fair be enough, as dead. If that's what you will, the pit fiend go away. Will he be unsummoned? I don't actually know. There he is! Oh, we got it! Dudes, we got it. We just got a staff. Let's see what is over here. A beholder eyeball. Uh, let's see what's over here. 3,000 gold, that's it. Wait, all we got was a... Wait, staff of the magi. This typical... St this type of staff is thoroughly linked to the image of spellcasting profession, rare though it is. It is among the most powerful tools that a wizard can possess. A culmination of complex enchantments and endless study. This particular example is good in melee, grants invisibility, and offers protection from charms and evil. It can also cast spell trap and dispel magic and launch a fireball lightning bolt combination. The quintessential mage item. AC2, saving throws to invisibility. Immunity to be charmed and protection from evil. Dispel magic at level 30 on every hit. Fireball lightning bolt three times per day. Uh, 10d6 to all in 15. 10d6. What the hell? That is awesome. Spell trap. Or until 30 spell levels have been trapped. It strikes as a plus five weapon? Oh, dude. Ha. Um, Bard Cleric Druid Fighter. 
Wait, so why can't she wield this weapon? Magical weapon in you. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. My bad. That's because she's wielding this right now. Wow, we actually did it. That's it? Whatever uh, so what is this then? The huge lever is held in place by magic and is such a movable. Obviously something else needs to be triggered before the machine will work. Not knowing what else can be done. Oh no. You drop the beholder's eye into the boiling cauldron. Immediately the liquid calms and the machine further along the wall begins to hum. Oh no. Oh! Yes! Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That is awesome. Really, really awesome. I used two protect, uh, protection from magic scrolls, though. Um, sorting that out. I don't think that I would have been able to survive without that. Wow. Phenomenal, dude. What a game. Love it. Very well. Um, okay. Uh, in that case, let me try to go... Temple of Helm. Let me actually, let me go to this temple for a second. I'm going to try and do a little bit of shopping before we go. Before we head into Spellhold. Tell me all about it. Um... Protection from undead. Let's buy that. Potion of healing. Heroism potions. Restoration scrolls. Let's buy a couple of these. Okay, what else do we have here? Yeah, nothing to it. Uh, let's go past these guys. Oh, he's actually... I'll take a look. What you got, my dude? Anything down here? Potion of Strength. Okay. Five flagons. Okay, I think I'm going to go and do a little bit of purchasing. Oh, are we good? Hey, what the heck, man? Well. Let's just let's just dive into it. I might regret this decision, but let's just jump into it. That's it. Let's just jump to the graveyard. Let's carry on. Whatever you want. Um, what EXP are we at now? If you say so. Hmm. Three hundred. Wow. So we need a hundred and forty. Hundred and forty to go. Wait, and that will take us to level twelve. Of course. Freaking awesome. You must gather your party before venturing forth. We've got a fairly decent if that's what you want. Fairly decent loadout now. Which is good. Bodhi, hello. How are you? Let's quick save this. Let's also make a a brand new save before departure. You live so long. I am ready to go. 
The ship awaits your arrival, a safe journey to you. May you find what we both seek. This is it. Irenicus! Awaken, child. It is time for another test. Oh, please. I can't take this. Patience, Imowen. Soon it will all end. No! Don't do this! I don't want to die! Silence, dog. You have no purpose but to die by my hand. Oh, man. You are nearly ready for her, Imowen. She will be pleased. Oh! What the hell is he doing, dude? This is to be your transport, and I trust you will try to get along with the crew. That may prove difficult from time to time, but your effort would be appreciated. Okay, Bodhi. Why, Mistress Bodhi, you speak of our relations as though they've been unkind to you. I sincerely hope that's not the case. Not at all, Seiman. Though at times you can be a little trying on the nerves, I certainly meant no offense. I would not dream of taking any such offense to you, Mistress Bodhi. You're a delight to work with in all things. Has this is Seiman Havarian. He is the captain of his vessel. His word is law aboard ship within reason. Again, I sense a hesitation in your voice, Mistress Bodhi, such that I must seriously consider re-examining the way in which I conduct myself. You are as incapable of change as a mountain vista. Careful nudging over a thousand years might create a crack, but you would simply turn to show an unblemished side. Distress and woe. A distress and woe. I had best make well and sure that your cargo reaches the isle safely, lest your opinion of me lower to positively subterranean levels. My opinion of you is firmly entrenched among the stars, Saman. Now, explain the voyage to come. What, pray tell, is the name of your ship this season? It changes with whim and the gust of a wind. Never do I seem to affix a nameplate with proper re resin. For now, Galante will suffice. As for the journey, I trust my lady will be spending the bulk of it below decks. I know your ever alabaster skin finds the sunlight and moving water to be an irritant most caustic. That is my concern alone, Saman. Uh, and no more will be said of it. To the details of the voyage, if you please. Of course. Has been in inexperienced with the sea as you are, I suggest you pay careful heed to my words. And speak and be done with it. I wish to be underway as soon as possible. And well, you should. No other captain would dare the voyage. Cowards all, I should say. No stomach for the vivid taste of adventure. A tower. Uh, a touch sour to the palate, perhaps, but ripened by the gold you have paid. The journey shall be swift, for I have a good ship and a fine crew, veterans both and well seasoned. You may scarcely notice the passing, uh, the passing of the voyage. It is not to say there are not dangers. A sudden squall or hidden reef could prove deadly, though we are more likely to encounter pirates of ill repute, as opposed to the pirate of good repute which we have hired. Mistress Bodhi, you do me a great harm. I su to suggest I would stoop to such behavior as a grievous falsehood, the very stuff of fantasy. Very well, though I trust that you know the pirates hunting grounds well enough to see us safely through of course a stalwart captain is always prepared for any eventuality then we are ready and we should set sail at once with a reminder that any loss of time due to attacks will be exacted off the end of the captain's life i'm not sure i approve of the tone of this discourse best that we direct our thoughts to the voyage ahead and set our sails more shall be set on arrival hold fast the journey begins this is it Bodhi was as good as her word, and you were quickly under sail, the flamboyant Seiman Haverian at the helm. The journey is uneventful, and if there were other ships on the same course, they must have kept a discreet distance. You make good time, and soon there is a sizable island on the horizon. It might have been considered a pleasant place, but a grim shadow extends the length of it. The asylum, Spellhold, looms from a cliffside. So good. We have arrived, and in good time, I might add. Congratulatory remarks for all the crew, and to our visitors for their delightful company. We had to make the best of it. I managed 
Uh, I myself managed to win a fair amount of coin from your crew. They seemed to think they were the only ones who knew how to play cards. Yes, Saman. It was particularly wily of you to distract those other ships we saw in the distance. I take it that your signals in the night were some type of warning? Yes, well, I thought they might be pirates, so I merely displayed a series of lights that mirrored their own. I wished to appear as though I were one of their own. A masterful job of camouflage. It seemed that they truly believed your signal meant there would be trouble if they attacked. Astutely determined, Mistress Bodhi. The scoundrel clearly hides his true intent. He is to be admired for one thing. He hides his associations well. Not all can make claim to such. Ah well, one must always be prepared for such elements upon the sea. Fortunately, they are short of wit, though long of blade. Regardless, you are now safely at your destination. I shall cheerfully take my leave of you. It has been a pleasure. Safe travels. He cannot depart just yet. He has to tell you what you need to know of this place. Was that not part of our original deal? Yes, I think it was. Of course, it merely slipped my mind for the moment. Luckily, I reminded you. Samon will tell you what you need to know of this place. I have business of my own I must attend to. Find out how to safely breach the asylum and rescue your comrade, Imwen. I shall await the inevitable ruckus and meet you afterwards. Good luck. I look forward to our next meeting. Is it okay to come out now, Boo? The pale woman is gone. You can stop shivering too. You're a warrior hamster, so be brave. That's funny. Samon, what's up, dude? Speak your mind. Mistress Bodhi does have a way of making her words cut you with their very vowels, hmm? A heart of gold, though, only because it's been ripped from her chest and gilded to such. Um. How do you know of her? You do not seem like your usual lackeys. I met her some years ago when I was in the unfortunate position of being held by the constabulary of Zassispur. She effected my release in exchange for a favor. I've worked with her and her brother on occasion since then, though I'm mostly left to my own meanderings. I've paid, been paid well for helping you. Enough of this for now, I must carry out my duties and see to your entrenchment within the town. Step close for there, near dwells at each turn. The tavern is the surest place to find what you need. Okay. Nothing to it. Herein you shall find what you need. I will go no further, lest I be recognized and harm your efforts. The Volga Monkey Tavern should hold what you are looking return for. To my ship and leave you to whatever trials you must face. Be my polite to... Is to be polite to all you meet here. Oh my god. You were to guide me in the city. You risk her anger with your laziness. Do not think of my actions as such as it is another matter entirely. Laziness is but one of my motivators. I have a name about this town that is not spoken in polite company. My presence would prove more hindrance than help. Wise though dictates I return to my vessel and scan the horizon for anything that might prove troublesome. The vantage from my hammock is the best, I think. I suppose we could expect no less from a simple pirate. Be gone with you then, scoundrel. No doubt you would only bring us more trouble here than we need. Speak with Sanic inside. He has a little love for me, but there is scant about this town that does not pass this notice. Sanic, huh? Blue, spiky hair. Spins up real quick. Jeez. Sanic. Alright, let's quick save that. Couple gold pieces. Hey ya. On Dante, you'll pay, you will, I'll see to it. I stand by me claims a pox on your father's father if you think otherwise. I've never been so insulted in all my born days, you sir are a rotter. Stow it in your aft deck, milk sop. Gentlemen, if you please, I have three other duels to govern today, and I haven't the time for particulars of each. Quite a right from my standpoint is commentary on my lineage demands blood. And his constant blathering demands me boot to his backside. I'll do you for that. Right straight, I will. And bring your weapons to bear, gentlemen. I will duly record the outcome and prevent any investigation of impropriety. Huh? He means he'll make sure I don't get in trouble for killing you. That's the last I hear from your pompous tongue. Culture will defeat you loudish brutes each and every time. Well sported, sir. I shall have der... Sharek apprised of the results. Okay. Callahan. Cordison. Cordison. Very well. Okay, hold up. What's his name went up this way? Right. Oh great. Uh, 
Alright, so is this the tavern or what? Alban the pirate, and Dar the pirate. Don't mind, don't mind me, gentlemen. You carry on about your business. Right. I'll just pick up the loot when one of you drops. Don't mind me. Hey, get get out of my. There we go. Nice. All right, give me one second. Lady Galvina's Fest Hall. Okay, I thought this, uh... Where the heck are we going here? Let's go up here, maybe? Who are you? Excuse me, sir, I don't mean to bump into you. Why have you taken my money? Sorry, sir, I gotta do it or you'll hit me again. Explain yourself. Who will hit you if you don't steal my money? I can't say I don't want to die. Okay, then. I'll let you take that 10 big ones. If you take any more, boy. Oh, that's the end. Pirate door guard. Pirate lord's home. Okay, we, we don't... We're going we to ignore that for a sec. Alright, we don't need to fight any pirate lords right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Damn, dude. Tremmy? Cheremy. Need something strange. Keep moving, friend. Waiting for your employees. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's the vulgar monkey. Okay, okay. That's where I need to go. Take that. What we got over here? Temple of Umberly. Let's pop in here for a sec. I am most Tell me, oh, why do you disturb my meditation? The bitch queen of the deeps welcomes you to her house malls. Do you seek her favor in your travels? Oh my god. Wander the heavens. Cleric staff plus three. Destroyer the hills. Ooh. No protection from magic scrolls. Cleric staff plus three though. And wander the heavens. Good to see this here. Okay, anything Not else I can do. search for down here? Uh oh, okay. Butchered. Okay, let's just walk around here and do a little bit of chop wood, okay? I'm not an axe. A little bit of searching. A little bit of fog of war clearing. See this pirate right here saw what happened to his buddy right here and was like, yeah nah, you guys can just walk wherever you like. You're fine. Totally. Utterly fine. Where's this go? Oh, nice. Okay. Alright, let's pop in here. Uh. Drunken sailor. Okay. Sanic. Hey, what's up, man? You are neither blue or spiky. Captain Bob Holmes? What the heck? A cap bob. The seas are sure rough this time of year. Meet and grog and keep. Well, okay. Pirate Noof. 
The seas are sure rough. Okay, so these guys are this is just nonsense. Pirate Scotty. Hey yeah. Oh my god. Pirate Jimmy. Okay. Sanic, what's up, dude? Yes. Greetings, friend. I'm Sanic. You must be new to Fair Brynlaw. Whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? Um, you might be able to give me some information that I require. That depends on what it is that you wish to know. I'm but a simple merchant and a trader. Do you trade with the asylum? I wish to enter the asylum. I have reason to believe that a friend of mine is held there. Spell hold. I supply them with their basic needs, such as food and spell components. Some sort of magic is being planned for the place. The orders have recently increased many fold. How do I get in there? Perhaps so, if the need is true. There is little to worry about, for I must vacate the town very soon. From what do you flee? Flee is not a word that I like. It is merely a misunderstanding with the local guild mistress. My new wife and I shall take an extended trip until things settle. What in the... Someone behind me? Oh, let me just take care of this person. Don't worry about it. What treachery is this? Who are you? Hello, Sanic. The Lady Galvina sends her greetings. She dislikes being crossed. You? The girl is free and you have no claim on her. Leave us be. Free? Hardly. The lady will not brook her property being stolen. You shall pay for your theft. Speak not of my Claire as if she is an object. She is no longer Galvina's lackey. She is my love and she is free of your foul touch. A romantic. Perhaps your death will serve some bard well. Oh. Prepare to be eviscerated. As for you, being friends of Galvina's enemy makes you her enemy too. Die, falls. What? Are you kidding me right now? By Umberlee's teat. What does Galvina think she is? Assassinations in the Volga monkey? That uppity wench. A man is dead in Keeper and you would do well to show more than mere inconvenience. Tell us what you know of this man's death. Who is responsible for it? You care. You've only just met him. It's my business. Who was the assassin and why did he perform this foul deed? If only to teach the woman to keep her affairs out of my tavern, I will tell you what I know. The assassin was sent by Lady Galvina, the mistress of the local courtesan's guild. You can see how in a port full of sailors such an undertaking would bring the woman power and wealth. What disagreement did she have? Sanic the Fool fell in love with one of Galvina's girls, Clea, and she with him. He took her from the guildhouse and proclaimed her his wife. Galvina is a harsh woman. She considers the courtesans her property. She accused Sanic of theft and he scorned her in public. The whole town knows of it. This then was Galvina's reply. I suspect that the girl Clea suffers even as we speak. Okay, where is the girl Clea? The guild has a house on the west side of Brynlaw. Customers who pay well can conduct their business in a bedroom within the guild house. I suspect that Galvina has already taken the girl there to be punished. How would I enter? You can get in as everybody else does as a paying customer. Galvina keeps both male and female courtesans for either taste. Failing that, you would have to kill several well-trained guards. I also hear that Galvina keeps a pet wizard. Either way is foolish in my opinion. Is there anyone else that could tell me how to get into Spellhold's Asylum? If you're sure that Sanic knew how, then perhaps he told his young bride. I don't see how you can ask her, though. Okay. Okay, but still, dude. Um. Okay, he doesn't have stuff to buy. Which is fine. Let's gather your party before venturing forth. Let's gather the party before venturing forth. Um. Okay, let's go up this way. Who is that right there? No one. What's in here? Oh, nice. If you say the customer is always right. I'm always willing to spend, my dude. Hell yeah. Alright. Nothing nothing really much good here so far. Okay. Okay. Anybody pick up some trash that we don't need anymore?
That staff of the Magi, my god. Okay, so this weapon. Immunity to charm. She becomes invisible. Protection from evil. Dispel magic at level 30 on each hit. Damn it, Jahira can't wield this thing? Dame, dame, dame. Okay. Um. Yes, I go as I would have done. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, so we got to go back down here, right? If that's what you want. Sort this guy out real fast. So this is where we're going, in here. Oh, Nira, what are you doing? Come on now. Whatever you desire. What do you need? Um. What sort of establishment is this? It's a palace of romantic delights. I wouldn't be interested in partaking of said delights. Of course, just just out the door of our fine establishment, you find a selection of courtesans such as the world has never seen for a small fee. They should take care of you. Oh. Uh. Nothing to it. Um, I'm ready. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Oh. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Oh, for the love of oh. Okay, we'll take that and that. Does guards have anything? No. What would you okay. like? Let's go in the back here. Nothing to it. Wait, what? The barkeep told me that the assassin was sent by Lady Galvina. Said something Very about well. Tremi, Ch what Cheremy. You what? Want. In order to get into Lady Galvina's festival, I need to obtain a medallion from Tremi, one of the crueler masters. I'll find him somewhere outside town. Wait, what? If you say so. Um. Of course. If that's what you want. Okay, let's just see what's in here first. Hey, can we get out of here or what? Near is encumbered. What? 31 pounds? What the hell is she carrying? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dude, that... Wow, that is very, very, that is tough. Um, oh, that, that is a, that's a big annoyance. Um, Oh, God. 
I wonder if she has anything to... Come on, let's kill something now! <laughs> um... Will heal work? No, it's just diseases and blindness. Um... Does she have anything? What about... What about remove magic? Okay. Hmm. Fine. Whatever there we you go. Desire. Nothing to Sorted it. Sorted that out. Declare yourself. Okay. Uh, uh, God kept it. Wait, why sure. is she even up there? Absolute madness. I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna grab this, put that there as well. Um. Put those there. Okay. Very well. Those guys are a bit chunkier than the last guys. Okay. Maybe not as chunky as I thought. So let's see what's in this room right here. What would you like? What's your tail? How did you get in here? Guards! Help us. There's nothing even here. Nothing to it. Okay. Very well. Whatever you want. Fleet of foot and all that. Galvina's key? If you say so. Nice. Of course. If that's what you want. Twelve gold? I take Whoa. no pleasure in speaking to one as low as you. And as such, a sentence of death has been imposed upon you, Claire. Please, I've served you for years. Why could you not let me go? Silence. The punishment and severity is immediate. An example should be made of you as was made of your husband, Sanic. I should think that... Galvina, we have a guest. So we do. Who are you, woman? Where are my useless guards? Your guards have gone the way you soon will, foolish woman. Your days of profiteering are at an end. It is time to pay for your crimes. How bold, Vanek. What do you make of this? Arrogance is a common trait among the dreads, dregs of adventuring. Well put. I would say that a lesson humility is in order. Vanek, Bullock, begin the lesson with pleasure. Okay. Yes. Um, let's see how this goes then. Explosion. Whatever okay. you decide. Can we lose some of this trash? I can't he carry anymore. Got absolutely destroyed. Can we lose some of this trash? Oh, I sorry. can't carry anymore. 
Um, I think I'm gonna get these sold. Yeah, those are just just taking up space, really. The cloud kill wand, however. Let's get rid of this. Let's burn through a couple of these wands, I think. Restoration scrolls can go there. Like that. Put those down there. She can probably identify that. Oh, she can't. Plus two halberd. Okay, she can sell that. I can put those away. Okay. Uh, we're good now, I think. Yep. Very good. Okay. Nothing to it. Clear. Hello there. She was gonna kill me. Did Senek send you? I must go and find him. I'm sorry to say. Galvini had Senek killed. I saw the whole thing. No. Why did she have to? I'm sorry, Sniff. I expect I suspected that she might have killed him, but I didn't want to believe it. He was going to take me away from all this. I must be brief. Uh, do you have anywhere to go? The captain of Sanic's vessel, Golan, is a good man. He would offer me safety. Where can we find him? He'll be near the docks. Okay, let's go. Hello there. Clear, we've been searching all over for you since Sanic was murdered. You were right. Who have you brought with you? I'm okay now. Galvinia nearly killed me to make an example to the other girls. This is the woman who saved me. And we are in her debt. Thank you, friend, for saving Clear. Is there anything that we can do to repay you? If Sanic was still alive, he would offer you his life. Uh, the girl deserved a better life. Galvina seemed to me a woman of no small evil. I only need to know how to enter the asylum. Sanic was going to tell me when he was killed. Spellhold. Well, no, I'm not sure you'd even want to go in there. People that don't go in... People that go in don't usually come back out again. But I see that you are determined, so be it. I'll say what I know, though it won't be of tremendous help. Only two kinds of people get in there. Cowled wizards and deviants. People with special conditions of the mind. Okay. There really is only one representative of the cowled wizards here, and he's long since given up their rigid discipline. This place doesn't suit it. His name is Perth the Adept, and he's seemingly free to come and go from Spellhold all he wants. He uses a wardstone to pass the gates, I think. You might convince him to give it up. He might take a bribe, but likely your meeting with him will have to be violent. Um, what about those to be judged? Well, on the mainland, you'd have to cause one heck of a magical disturbance, and if you survive the Cowled Wizard's reprisal, you might get sent there. Here on the isle itself, we don't work like that. Don't care about magic. Desharak used to spell hole for other reasons. Dumps his enemies there, sometimes friends too. Other than troublemakers, the asylum also holds mages and others with actual mental instabilities. They can prove to be quite dangerous and better locked away. A little too much salt water can taint the mine and it's not uncommon for someone to lose their grip. The shark is the one that can order them confined. Prove to be unstable and the shark might send you there. The trip would not be gentle though. His chambers are a good ways west of here, a large building tucked against the hills. Tell the doorman I sent you. Thank you, man. Alright then, still don't know why you'd want to get in there. I've heard even more screams than usual from there. However, I thank you for your assistance. That's it. Okay, so we've found our way in. Um, Perth the Adept. Okay, so let's try and find this Perth the Adept dude. He's got to be somewhere in here, right? Very well. Take a little look around. Maybe up this way.
What is this guy gonna say? Something stranger. Waiting for his employees, huh? Drunken sailor. What would you like? What happens if I go up here? Oh, oh, all oh, right, right. Here we go. So a little bit of. A bit of fog of war clearing. Okay, what's this right here? Nothing? Okay, let's take a little look see. In the name of the council, oh my God. I am here to keep order. Is it time once again for the experiments? I await your instruction, Warden. Uh, I wonder if I might have a moment of your time. I seek information. moments not all the moments are together and all together and with another i have no moments you are you're in the company with hans von hammerhands the likeness of who to recognize have been given to me in my head if the subjects encounter do not hesitate to test their limits these are valuable parameters for this study no one will be testing anyone's limits while yoshimo is involved do you hear fool yoshimo acceptable losses in exchange for the benefits of learning the limits of hands then carter you fool that can't be right you do not matter you will be dealt with as inconvenient. Wait, you will be dealt with as is convenient. Perhaps I can help you. Test of limits, test of limits. Hmm. Perth the adept. Uh, okay. I guess... Book of Infinite Spells. This ancient tome creaks as you open it. Each page of the Book of Infinite Spells contains a spell described in layman's terms, easy enough for a thief, cleric, or even a fighter to understand and cast it. Each spell on a page can be cast once per day. A second function of the book is to turn to a different page of the book. This allows for the possibility of getting a better spell. However, once the page has been turned, the previous spell is lost forever. Unless it happens to appear again. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Be warned, once you turn to the last page of the book, you are stuck with that spell. The spell on this page is Fireball. Oh. Fireball. Infinite fireballs? Yo, I kind of like that. So, so with her, I can just cast. Wait a minute. Oh, turn a page. There it is. I see. Infinite number of fireballs. Hey, that's. Can we go kill something now? Huh? That's a pretty cool Very item. Well. Okay. All right. Now leave this one right here. Okay, we've got our way in. Next episode, we head into Spellhold. Catch you guys soon.